So hey guys, welcome to another technical analysis. I'm super excited to share what the markets have to say in a technical perspective today. Today we are the 21st of June and a lot has happened in the crypto markets and I can't wait to show you. So let's go to the charts. Let's see what the charts have for us. So I'm gonna do a technical analysis of the crypto markets. If you already follow us, then thank you so much for the people that are new. We are InfraCrypt, we teach about the crypto markets. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you wanna see more of us. So let's go ahead with the Bitcoin charts because a lot of people were very, very, very fearful as Bitcoin hit it 18K. So what happened in a long-term perspective, that's what I'm gonna talk about right now. So what we see is that Bitcoin retested this very point. So on a long-term perspective, we saw 2017 pumping until 19K, 20K, and then drop down again until 2.8K. So um, as soon as the market broke out in 2020, we saw that this level of 20K was not really, has not really been touched and just broke through through the level of 28 where the market retested the first time. So this was a gap and it was a gap for a long time. I've been saying that this gap was kind of dangerous. So what we saw right now, the last two, two and a half weeks, is that Bitcoin reacted very bearish um, on the trends he was making. And we see that this level of 19K was retested. So what I was happy about was to see that the market tested this level and rebounced a little bit. Just not too much, just a little bit. Okay. So in a long-term perspective, this is a very, very nice buying moment. This is no financial advice, but just if you don't have cryptocurrency or you're looking into buying some cryptocurrency, this might be the perfect moment. So also in a long-term perspective, we see that this RSI, so this is an indicator, RSI, Relative Strength Index. So it's, it's showing us how, how, how strong the market is or how weak the market is. And we also see that in years, this RSI hasn't been so low. It actually has never been so low since the beginning of Bitcoin. So this RSI shows us that the market is very much oversold and that it needs to go at, at a higher level in order to drop more. So if the market's gonna drop more. So this is a very, very nice buying opportunity. Let's just take a look at when the markets was, when the market was low at the RSI. That was 16 March, 2020. That was whenever um, the Corona crisis came out and Bitcoin dropped from 10K to four and a half K or three, four K. So that was an enormous drop and you could see it on the RSI and it quickly restored after that. And after that, we got this pump until 60K. So that was major, major, major. Also, when we saw the last drop was 6, 26 November 2018, whenever the market dropped in its bearish trend. Then we also have some um, RSI touches here around 2015 and 14, whenever the bull run came and the bearish market came in. So this is a huge indicator, especially on a long-term perspective to say, hey, the market is oversold and I'm probably not going to go any deeper. This is no promise, but also look at this guys. We have this blue line and the blue line is the moving average 200. It is an average of the last 200 candles in the market. And as we see here, the candles are on a weekly perspective. So every candle is one week. And when we take a look at that, we see that the market always has respected the 200 moving average. So it's going to be very important for this week that we close above the 200 moving average in order to go higher. Okay, we tested it before and just like the RSI, we can see that here on 16 March 2020 and in 2018, in November, we touched this um, moving average again and again. So right now we are on the same perspective and it's uh, breath, uh, holding our breaths to see if this line is going to be respected or not. The most important level here is the 19K, because that was the previous all-time high in 2017, and it's gonna be all 
Um, it's gonna be all play out these coming weeks and it's gonna be very, very exciting. That's what I wanted to show you guys. So I think personally, this might be a very, very good bottom. What we should take a look at is our lows, our previous lows. And these were at the 30K. And we saw that the market struggled here a lot, like four or five weeks struggling to break through to these lower levels. So this is our resistance right now. So if the market is gonna bounce up and we come to a level of 28, it's gonna be looking out what the market's gonna do or how it reacts. If it rejects the, the 28, then we might have a retest there. If it pulls through and pulls over, then we might see that maybe this trend line gets broken, just like it did here. So what is going to be very important to see is that this market gets broken, tested and going back up. Then we are sure that the market is uh, again in a bullish trend, but that's going to be waiting until that happens. So guys, the only thing that you can do in a crypto market, the only losses you can make if, uh, if you are not patient enough. So patience is really key. This is a very volatile market. If you went down the drain with this chart, just Hold your bread, wait a bit, be mindful and say like, oh, this market cannot bleed out like this. With a downtrend, there needs to be pushes up. So just wait for the push up to sell a little bit. And please don't panic, sell anything. Don't sell things because you're panicking. Just think with your brain, don't think with your emotions. So leave your emotions aside and just check out what these coming days will do. Also, what is a very important chart is the total market cap. And there we see a slight difference in the, um, in the moving average. So the moving average 200 has been respected very, very nicely. And also here it respects perfectly this level. Also, we can see that this level of 2017 is exactly the level where we are testing right now. So this could be a very, very beautiful chance to get in this market. Um, yeah, as you can see, the RSI is here very, very much oversold and it's pointing upwards. That is a very, um, that is a very bullish sign, I, I, I would say. Just these markets are so oversold that it could almost never go uh, lower than this. Of course, this is just what I think, what I assume. Um, Everything can turn out differently, of course, but this is just basically technical analysis. And my analysis says to me that I should buy right now. And I did. So it's going to be very important to follow up how this plays out. This is a very important resistance level, the 1.16. If the markets hits there, um, it could possibly reject. So make sure that you see this resistance level that you keep an eye on the charts and that you don't get too excited when the market goes up again just be patient wait and see if all the confirmations are there um so the moving average um the moving average 50 is showing us whenever the markets oh markets is in a bullish or bearish trend and now we are in a bearish trend because the because the yellow line is above the chart. So it's going to be so important to see that we cross that level in, an, in another perspective. So if we go up now and we reach higher levels, this uh, moving average 50 is going to go down and the 200 is going to go up and hopefully it will cross. Um, but that's just on the weekly perspective. Let's see the daily perspectives. Okay, so right now what we saw is a very nice is a very nice V that is forming here. So maybe this is going to be a V um, test, just like we saw here. So we pushed down and then from there on we pushed up again. So that's what we should see. We should see that it crosses levels and it tests, it tests levels as a support. So this resistance should become a support just like this. Up. And whenever this resistance get tested as a support, then we might go higher in the markets, but that has not been set yet. So it's going to be so important to just keep an eye on the markets and watch it. But for me, what I see is that this should be a very, very nice opportunity to buy some cryptos in this market. So let's put this off. 
Okay, what I can also see and what I, what I also think is when I look at the Bitcoin dominance and I'm going to set it on a weekly perspective so it's nice and clear is that the Bitcoin dominance has dropped over the years, but that we now touched the 50 or near the 50%. And this is, was also a level that was very important in the, uh, in the past. So we tested, tested and tested again. So the Bitcoin dominance is dropping and that might lead to the fact that the altcoins will get much more space to grow. I think this could be an alt run. If the market runs, then the altcoins will get some space to run with them because Bitcoin now gets suppressed because of the dominance. This is also like a very nice pattern. So we bust out, we retest, and it's gonna be important that um, if Bitcoin wants to grow first, that the dominance will also grow with it. Whenever the dominance drops and the altcoin rises, that means that more people are buying altcoins than Bitcoin. So I think that the altcoins still need a big run. Um, we didn't see that big run yet. We saw the big run in May, but then whenever the market pumped again in November, we saw that some altcoins didn't really go with it. So. It, will this be the chance for the altcoins to really show what they have, to really show their power? Also, if you look at the total market cap, this market cap is so small that whenever just a little bit of money gets into these markets, the market will pump enormously because the capital that's in, that's in cryptocurrency is just small money for the big boys. So whenever something will happen and whenever cash will flow in, this could be very exponential. What they want before things go exponential, what do they do? So when you look at 2020, the Corona crisis, they pumped it all down. So they went from 10K to 4K and that was for, for a lot of people, that was a panic sell. So a lot of people sold their cryptocurrency. And guess what? It went from 4K, went straight to 60K. So just be aware that this is the way they play it out. They suppress it until the moment they are buying themselves. And I think this is one of those moments. So just watch uh, what cryptos are doing because there, were, there was so much fundamental news. I'm just going over the technical news here, but there was so much fundamental news. So they were raising um, the, the interests of the loans and everybody was like, oh, okay, so um, the crypto market is going down, going down. Everybody was selling their cryptos and the moment the news got out, crypto got steady. So for me, that was like a little bit of uh, confirmation that this market is manipulated and that they try to fear people and just to smoke out people with their bearish news. And then whenever the news comes out, it reacts sideways or bullish. So, so important to know that they always try to play it out and they also always try to fear people, but that's not, um, that's not how you should react on these markets. You should cancel your emotions and just think with your head try to figure out what you know. And what I know is that in 2017, we made a pump and that we right now, we retested that level. And that is just a very bullish sign because we made higher highs. We just retested the previous high and that's still an uptrend. So I'm still very positive. I love to be positive in these markets, but I love to keep it real also. It's gonna be important that we'll take a look at these resistance levels. And if we don't cross those levels, we might get lower so pay attention and be relaxed because this might be a very very interesting time so let's take a look at some other altcoins who are also majorly suppressed and this is ethereum so ethereum pumped uh in uh, january 2018 to 1400 and right now we are testing these levels too we did go lower than um, Bitcoin. So it is important, it's gonna be important to see that uh, Ethereum these coming weeks is restoring those lower levels a little bit and aiming to go higher. This is such an important trend. I think whenever Ethereum will retest, it will retest these levels here around 3K because as you can see, these markets have been struggling around the 3K. And I think whenever we will see a retest that we might go there. And these would be 
nice levels to sell a little bit of your cryptocurrency because what's so important right now is dollar cost averaging right so a lot of people are still in gains with their cryptos but they want to sell a little bit and they they were afraid that they missed the run and that now everything's going to shit so what you can do is put levels in put a little bit of your money onto an exchange hopefully everything is on a ledger put it on an exchange put the levels say like i i want to sell around here 2977 uh, I want to sell there a little bit and whenever the market goes there it will sell uh, straight away what I always do is I try to do 20 20 20 so I sell in 20 to 10 percent of my portfolio every time so I always have some liquidity to buy but I also have some liquidity still in the crypto markets so try to dollar cost average these markets because it's going to be so important for uh, your portfolio so you can either buy lower or sell the highest if you look at a daily perspective also what we can see is this is this v curve that is occurring so it might if the market plays out well it might form a v and go over this level it's going to be so important because what we saw here was the same thing it made a v and it went all the way up so I hope, I think, that if we see some bullish news, that we might get higher um, and not lower. So this is totally the opposite of the sentiment today because everybody's super feel fearful in this market. It's like, oh, we're going to drop more and bearish and bearish. But I think it's just the opposite because everybody's so fearful and all the indicators are, are oversold. I think there's a, there's a high possibility for the crypto markets to recover a little bit. And from there on, we can see what we should do. Um, this recovery could go very fast. As you guys know, the crypto market pumps. Um, very fast and then goes down very slow and it always is like that it's out to drain the people so the slower it goes down the more they hesitate the more people that are draining out and losing hope and the more it pumps quickly the more people think like oh we're, we're going we're going and we're never stopping and then suddenly the market breaks very fast and then we go down very slow that's what we saw in may that's what we saw this year and it's going to be important to know like this is how the crypto markets play out so whenever the market pumps make sure your levels are there and you are ready to sell a little bit of your cryptocurrency in order to have some liquidity don't sell it all at once and don't keep all your coins just do dollar cost averaging and you're going to be just fine so these markets are looking quite okay as it's uh, just in a technical perspective. Uh, if you're still fearful, you can buy just a little bit and wait it out. Um, but I think this could be one of the most huge opportunities in these markets of the last years. So be aware that the markets will be volatile coming days. So then there are these uh, altcoins and what I can see with, with the altcoins is that Bitcoin dumped way more than these altcoins in the last few weeks. So if we put it on a weekly perspective, we can see that this last dump, which of Bitcoin was huge, was just a small dump to, a, to another level. So let's say, for instance, Ripple is now at 30 cents. This is, <laughs> this is so low, guys. I cannot even explain how low this is. If we look at the RSI, Ripple has never been so oversold. So this might be a super opportunity to buy some altcoins. This is now Ripple, but other altcoins sh are showing the same things, the same results. So it's going to be so important for you to keep track of these indicators and to see how the market reacts. I see uh, Ripple going to 85 because that's a nice support. And I think whenever the market will pump, it will pump until 89, 80, uh, sorry, 59, 58. So keep an eye on those levels. Also, Chainlink, Chainlink has been, see, like the, the crypto market of Bitcoin has dropped so much, like the Bitcoin market has dropped and these altcoins stayed steady. So for me, that is like a huge indication that maybe the altcoins will get a higher pump than the Bitcoin market. Let's take some others. So this is a great support and it was already drawn as a support and it's keeping that support. So that's, that's great. That's huge news. Uh, this resistance of almost a dollar for Cardano will be 
a level that will get tested, I think. Also, if you look at the Arizona, it's never been so oversold. So all the technical things are there. All the technical things are there. The RSI, the moving averages, the charts, the candlesticks, the consolidations, everything is there, right there. This is the perfect buying moment. But um, yeah, it's going to be just relax, breathe, wait a little bit, check it out. Don't go too hasty. Don't go too fast. Just wait because this market might seem fast, but it is kind of slow. So your patience will be your gains. So important, guys. Don't rush anything. Just go over the charts really slow. Keep an eye on them. Put your selling levels. Um, don't be too greedy and just relax because everything's going to be just fine. There is also going, there is also a huge news coming from um from the markets like the stocks uh, the federal reserve is doing all these things with money they're printing so much money they now have to print more money because of the debt markets and i think this is all when you all line it up in a long-term perspective this is the perfect shake for a market run because whenever our money is not going to work anymore or like the dollar and the euro is not going to work anymore as we expected. People lose hope, people lose faith in our systems and people search for alternative. And that's why you and me and all the other people searching for alternatives like cryptocurrency. And I think this market is not done yet. Everybody's very bearish. I'm bullish just because I see these technical aspects of the market. And I think this could be a huge opportunity. So without further ado, I want to take you guys to the DXY. This is the dollar index and the dollar index is looking like it's topping. Um, let's pray that this market, like whenever this market goes up, the crypto market goes down. So when the dollar index rises, it, it gets an, an opposite uh, an opposite reaction on the crypto markets. But what I see right now is that we are hitting this one, 104 level and that we hit it several times, but we don't like burst over it. So I think maybe we should, if we hesitate too much on those levels, then the dollar index will uh, fail and fall. So whenever this dollar index loses his, his momentum, then the crypto markets will get their momentum. And I, I think that's going to be a very important thing to look at in the future. So without further ado, this is my analysis on a long-term perspective. I think all the indicators are there. I think everything is there to say that it is oversold and it is one of the lowest points. So I think from here on, we might see uh, a pump in the crypto markets again, because this is just looking beautiful, especially when you look at a, at a short-term perspective. This is, these are great candles, like these right here, is an engulfing so the green candle went higher than the red candle and that is also the engulfing we saw in May right here if I can show you let's go here yes okay so we had this V bottom and then it engulfed okay this is a way higher candle than we had but it's still an engulfing so this candle eight like all these candles just in one day and from there on it was just unstoppable the only thing it did is it was retesting his trend line so what we might um what we might want to see is that this market bursts over and that it retests this trend line in order to go higher if not we will test this trend here around the maybe the 35 the 33 uh in order to go more lower um, but I think I think we might have a chance to go over this trend line and to make maybe even a new all-time high but that's gonna be for another day thank you so much for joining in this um, this um, explanation you can always reach out to me uh, on my Instagram or Facebook my name is Ina Holwood and I'm always trying to keep you up to date with the latest crypto news ciao guys